lookup long awaited and much anticipated powerful feature of excel is available now for all excel user may it be microsoft excel on mac on 365 office on web or ipods and more it's available now so you can use it and if you don't find it still please update your excels and you will find it refresh and update your excels and you'll find it there microsoft has introduced this very powerful feature which is an extension or a next level of vlookup the use of xlookup function is required when you need to find the things on a table or a range by a row for example look up the price of an automotive part by the part number or find an employee based on the employee id etc uh, with x lookup you can look in one column for a search term and return the result from the same row in another column regardless of which side the return column is on so this means usually you're used to move from left to right in excel vlookup feature whereby now you can move from right to left as well in xlookup so today i'm going to demonstrate a few examples and you will be able to understand how easy and convenient it is to use this powerful feature and i'm pretty sure you will get rid of vlookup considering that was a complicated um, functionality itself and time taking whereby xlookup is much more simple powerful flexible and less time taking so without any further ado i will give you here an example first of a vlookup if you don't remember that you can also refer to the link for vlookup on, on 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 my channel and you can refer to that but i'll give you a quick example for example vlookup I wanted to see what's going on in China. So I will select this comma in this table in front of China. What is the country code? So I will put comma country code is in column two, two comma false to have an accurate result. And there you go. You can see that China has been found in the table and I've got the country code, but this was quite a comprehensive functionality to revoke and understand what's going on now i will try and practice uh, x lookup so what we are looking for what is the dial code here so in this case we'll pick up a country let's take the country here uh, for example india it's a it's a short name so it'll be helpful to quickly pull it in now functionality will be is equal to x lookup so this is your code this is your syntax that will invoke this functionality so i invoke the functionality i will select what am i looking for the lookup value that is india i need to search india in this table and now i would need the dial code so i will select here first i need to take the column where the country is so here it is and after that i'll press comma and now i will select the column where the prefix code is this is the prefix code here and that is it fellas i'll close it and i will see what's the number nine one precisely this is here you can see nine one now this was one example where i without going into references and wherever it is let's 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 change it let's change it let's change the scenario a little bit and i'll pull here and let's let's keep the column and empty everything that I, I don't care let's keep it here and now again try this functionality and i'm not going to go in traditional vlookup functionality but i'll keep it simple is equal to x lookup and now what i need to find is india comma where it is is india here okay what do i need to find country code which is very far you can see the distance now of these two columns that is it fellas just press enter and you have the code here for country india did you see this i'm sure you did and you have your data here isn't it easy and convenient 
very much. I'm see. I'm I'm pretty sure uh, our fellows who have been struggling with this VLOOKUP and understanding it for them, it's much much easier than it was VLOOKUP. I'm I'm pretty excited, honestly, to try this and 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 use it every day. Um, really, it is going to be a pretty pretty much good uh, thing for all of us. Now. I'll, I'll I'll take an ID um, for for each of the country here. So let's let's put as an example an ID here, and I'll fill series. I will put it as an ID. So this is where I am now. I have an ID. I have a table. I have the data, and I will simply copy the format, which didn't work because it's not part of the table. But I will keep it still here now instead of pulling in country now i'm finding out uh what is the country name here so let's let's take as an example number five so i need to sorry for that i need to figure out what is the name of the country where the id is five is equal to again x lookup now this example is a little different you can see something is out of the table now range so i will select x lookup i am looking for this number this is what i'm stating in this case comma i need to give the id of the column here i provided the id and then comma where is the country name i've given the second id and that is more or less it I close it and you can see from five it has picked the country Brazil so this was another example where I was looking up for the country name with an ID number unlike the VLOOKUP XLOOKUP is able to return an array with multiple items as well uh, that that that's that's very interesting very interesting uh, for example if we had if I had two names here for example Brazil uh, uh, ED or something like that you can see it has picked up that as well so this is this is something that is very interesting in X lookup um, additionally now let's move on to our, 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 our third example and uh, let's say the third example is um, and let's say the number if, if the number is not found in this case then what should we do so um i will i will delete it from here and i will put the number nine so that is number nine and number nine is not in the list so in a case if excel x lookup is not able to find this what it will return let's have a look at this x lookup comma nine this is what i'm looking for and then i'm gonna i'm gonna look up this in this particular column of course then i will give a comma and i will give the country names here and another comma i'll pull in and i will point out that mr excel mr x lookup in a case if you don't find uh, this data write down country not found that is simple statement i will close it here and class you can see here number nine is not in the list and it is clearly country not found in a case if i put four here it should give me indonesia if i put 22 no country not found so this is another good feature in excel x lookup now this this is yet another yet another interesting um, factor that i would like to see for example with respect to the population I would like to see the name of the country now this is very interesting and this is probably the most interesting part in this whole story in this whole new feature that I'm going to move from right to left exactly opposite and this is something that we have been struggling in VLOOKUP and figuring it out so I need to find name of the country comparing the number of area or let's say population I'll take the population here so I will give the reference of population let's say i'll give this population control c control v again which country it is and we need to put the functionality that i can bring in the name of the country with reference to the population so it will work this way that is very interesting very interesting so let's let's give it a try now and see how it works 
I will give the functionality is equal to x lookup. What I'm looking for is this value. And where I'm looking for this value is in this column population. And with respect to this population, what I'm searching for is a country name. Did you get this, fellas? Very interesting that I'm going to look up from population to country, from F to C. So when I close this functionality, it should give me a name, and that name should be United States. There you go. Very interesting. Very, very interesting. So you can move both ways in the table very powerfully, very easily. No references, no number of columns you need to enter, two, three, four, and false, and all that. Very, very simplified version. I'm pretty impressed, and I'm very happy to share it with you that it certainly will increase your productivity by miles, and you will certainly enjoy this feature. So, fellas, this 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 was a quick example from my side, and and I, I, I really hope that, that you have enjoyed this. Uh, please share your comments, your ideas, share your feedbacks in the link below. And, 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 and I'm, I'm really I'm curious about your excitement on using this feature since it's already in Excel now for all the users around the globe. So fellows, I really wish you luck with this functionality and I hope you enjoy this as much as I am uh, excited to use it and enjoying it. I wish you all the very best fellows. Uh, take care of yourself, stay safe. Take care of people around yourself and enjoy this new functionality. I look forward to speak to you again. Till then, um, take care of yourself again and, and